Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis with Dana Ward. Hey guys. And today we are so excited to be hanging out in the studio with Kayla Yule. You all know her as Vicky from the Vampire Diaries. <laughs> and we are so freaking out with excitement that you are back on the show. You're We're back. Hoping we don't know. We'll see. We don't know really what's going on. I think that's what makes the show so fun is that the audience and the actors as well just like have no idea what's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, the writers on the show don't mess around. I mean, they're like, amazing. Yeah, like, I just know whatever they do, whatever they choose to do, it's going to be so shocking and yeah. fun. <laughs> I mean, were you shocked? How did you find out that you were going to be, where were you? I mean, take us to the moment you found out you were going I was, back to the show. I was absolutely shocked. Honestly, it was April 1st, so April <laughs> Fool's <laughs> Day. Oh, no. It was April Fool's Day, and I was in my bedroom, and my managers and agents called me on speaker, and they're like, yay! You know, you're going back Get to the back. vampire. And I thought it was like the most cruel joke anyone's ever played on me. <laughs> oh my God. Because that I literally was like, that's awful. Because if anything I've ever done, that's absolutely <laughs> the show I would want to go be on. And all day, throughout the whole day, I was waiting for them to, you know, tell me it was a joke, but it was actually real. Yay. Oh, Yay. So, oh my gosh. like, where are you at now? Do you know when you're flying back to Atlanta? I don't know. I don't know anything. No, I really on. don't know. I, I, I really, was going to ask if you had a return ticket. I or, don't. I really don't know like what's going to happen. So we'll just we'll see. You know. Yeah. Well, in my personal opinion, you're going back because we yes. need answers as far as what's going on. Absolutely. I don't think that they host. would. Yeah. I don't think that they would do something like that and then not uh, answer the question. Most definitely. So since you don't really know anything, you can kind of guess what would happen with Vicky, right? Like, yeah. Where do you think she might? I mean, I go kind of had to do that in. anyway going yeah. back to the show and doing that scene I had to yeah. like fill in the blanks for myself and try and right. figure it out and that's what you have to do sometimes as an actor you know exactly because you're um, probably thinking my character is dead yeah, yeah. But I, but I, <laughs> I know well I definitely knew that Jeremy had been through so many like traumatic situations and a lot of people had died in his life and so, so I think Vicky really really loves Jeremy so any way that I can try and comfort him and I think I'm really trying to like console him and help him through it and um if that means coming back as a ghost or a spirit or an angel or whatever it ends up being, then so be it. It'll be awesome. Ooh, I, like I like that you just gave us options, by the way. I <laughs> right? feel like I was well, just like, I you're a ghost. <laughs> but maybe you are you like an know. angel. Or yeah, spirit. you never know. <laughs> and also, I mean, we had Candace in the studio. Yes. Candace Acola oh, recently. Love her. And you guys are all clearly, and you were actually, were you Nina's date to the that, movie awards? <laughs> yeah. You guys are all really good friends. I'm curious to know what their reactions were. Did you, were you able to call and tell them? Like, well, I was not to say anything at okay. all like oh. I didn't even tell my brothers and sister oh or anything gosh. because right. you know they have Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff and I was afraid it would get out so I literally told my parents and that was it because oh I gosh. didn't you know I didn't want yeah. it to get out and I didn't want it to be in trouble you know exactly. um, so yeah it was it was crazy to have to keep that secret and um, that morning that the script came out the original uh -huh. script came out without Melissa and I in it at all oh. so that no one would know it was okay. happening and Ugh. then they Keeping came out with everyone guessing. Everyone Jeez. guessing. And then they came out with the second revision and it had that, that ending scene in it. And so um, Candace called me that morning and was like so excited, like almost crying. Like, is it true? Is it true? <laughs> I was like, is what true? Please just say something. Yeah, just say something. Yeah, 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 say something like that. Um, and then it's just like, it's been so wonderful because. Nina and I are so close to you and just all the girls and the guys, it's just been so wonderful to be able to like know that I'm going to see them again and hang out with them. Oh, that's so awesome. So I mean, on a totally opposite note, mm -hmm. um, like we said at the beginning of the segment, the writers on the show really will do anything and they'll take the show anywhere as far as like killing off major characters. Yeah. And Vicky was a big part of the plot, especially in the first season. Yeah, movie. yeah. What was your initial reaction? Like how did you find out? Oh, I had no idea. Did you know from the beginning No, I didn't. Happen? Well, I didn't. I knew that eventually I would die because in the books Vicky dies okay. and so I thought that was going to be possible and my contract was only seven episodes out of 13 so I kind of like knew you know the business side of me kind of knew it was possible yeah. um, but definitely just got a phone call one day and I was on set and they said like we're so sorry but we're gonna have to kill you and I was literally <laughs> like oh my god <laughs> so, many th so many things happened over the phone and it was just yeah it was it was hard it was very hard especially because Nina and I lived together at the time and we were like oh. roommates and sisters and it was it was a big move but um, um, yeah, everything's meant to be, and it was just so totally. wonderful. I'm just grateful for anything to be able to be on the show for however mm -hmm. long, you know. Exactly. What was so. it? What was it like shooting that last scene? Did it hurt? To Weird. Die? Well, I've never had to die before in anything, and also be a vampire, and then it's like it was just crazy. And they had this 
apparatus that they like put in me and then it had a stick out the back and a stick out the front because oh. I get staked, right? Uh -huh. yeah. So it was really weird to just be walking around set like on the cell phone with like, a stick through you. Sticking through me. It was crazy. It oh, was that fun was though. So funny. Yeah. And we're also curious to know, like the fans of the show are so hardcore. Did you get any feedback like after, you know, your relation Vicky and Jeremy's relationship, she was kinda like giving them the runaround for a while, or girls like, oh my gosh. Well it's interesting. Like, I think a lot of girls actually like the bad girl. It's fun. Yeah. It's, they love to hate her, you know? Uh -huh. Um and they're anytime all the fans would just be like, I love you, Vicky and I'm like, Oh yeah. sweet, okay, but I'm not really that good of a person on the show. So I'm like, <laughs> okay. Um but yeah, it's, I think it's just fun to like um Vicky likes to play around with boys, and it's really fun for me to be able to like play a character like that, uh -huh. where I just get to like get paid to dance around with Ian half naked, and then get paid oh, to make yeah. out with Stephen McQueen, and you know, I'm just like, this is the life. This is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, can we talk about that dance scene, by the way? Yes, like, we can. <laughs> it, it was like a really long dance scene. Like, how long did it take to shoot that? All and, day. We and were you really having day. as much fun as it looked? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Like, I mean, we had no dialogue to memorize or anything like that, really? and we just danced around, and it in was uh, in our underwear. <laughs> I'm so happy though. They were so nice. They let me choose what underwear I got to wear. Oh. So I tried. That's nice. I tried to pick something that was a little bit more covered, and then I also yeah. put in a request with the director that he could not do a lot of butt shots, and I think, <laughs> I think he didn't, so that's good. Um, oh, that's funny. But yeah, it was it was a it was a crazy awesome scene, and I'm such a Boone fan from Lost exactly. uh -huh. that I was like, oh my god, Ian is so hot, and he like has his shirt off and he's dancing, and I'm just like. Again, I'm getting paid to do this. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> so it was really fun. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And one thing you were telling us like before the camera started rolling, yeah, which uh -huh. I would love for you to share with the viewers, yeah. talk to us a little bit about the mansion where you shoot. Oh yeah, um, the Salvatore Mansion is actually a real house and it is so creepy and scary. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I know I read an interview once that Nina Dobrev did and it was talking about how she actually thinks the mansion is haunted. Like there are oh, times when that? lights flicker, like real lights flicker and they hear voices and they hear things and it's it's pretty crazy and it's we're only allowed to be on the first floor, we can't go on the second floor. What's up there? We don't know. We don't know what's up here, but I don't no find one has out. Gone, no one has gone. No up one has there. gone up there. It's crazy. It and like yeah, it's it's what? a really creepy, scary mansion. It's one of those places where I always want to make sure I'm around people because uh -huh. even if there's people in the other room, you're just sitting there. The decor is all real and the furniture, they don't those change anything. Those are the real anything. decorations. It's not yes. like prop styling. No, it actually yeah. is there. Like you could go to fly to Atlanta and go and see this house. It's amazing. And it's in the middle of nowhere in this forest. I mean, it's kind of creepy. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. So it's, it's easy to get into the whole feel of the show when you're there. Yeah, yeah out. totally. You are a little bit. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's pretty much like everything shot on location? Not a lot, no. no I mean, no. most of it's just shot in a studio. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they've recreated the forest and they've re recreated all of this indoors. Oh so, my God. I love yeah. that. It's so realistic. But it is it's based crazy. on real places in Atlanta. So if they ever wanted to shoot outside and shoot at the actual location, they could. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. Now, you mentioned Vicky being a bad girl. And mm -hmm. girls do love the bad girl, what would you say that you would want to have, like what quality of Vicky would you like to take on it for yourself? Well one thing I would say that I really like is being able to play the bad girl and be naughty but then um, you know use that in a positive way because I'm a huge fan of charity and I work with this camp for abused kids and I'm just like so involved in that yeah. so I think sometimes if people see you as um, a naughty character and then in real life you're able to be the opposite of that, it's more Definitely. impactful that you um, can promote good things. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What That's are you doing difference. with the organization? Yeah. It's a, it's a camp for abused kids. It's called Royal Family Kids Camp, and um, it basically takes camp people that are in the foster care system mm -hmm. and gives them a week of a um, fun week, fun filled week, and it's on a college campus. It teaches them that they can um, be anything they want to be, and it's it's really cool. We stay overnight with the kids for a week. It's it's crazy. It's a big commitment, but it's totally worth it. Oh, and I have cool. the same same girls that have I've had since. Um, they were six and they're 11 now. So oh my gosh. Like, yeah. And so you really actually cool. so you go really, camping with them. Yeah, yeah. You like establish a relationship with them and it's just absolutely so amazing. Neat. So yeah, if anyone wants to find out more info, um, they can just go to royalfamilykidscamp.com and it's a, oh, it's so a really cool. huge organization and it's throughout the whole U.S. So. For yeah, you. it's cool. Yeah. It's really great. You are a nice good girl. girl. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Well, and I just think it's fun to like be able to like promote it too. You know, definitely, most mm. definitely. Well, thank you so much Thanks. for coming by. Thank you guys. You better believe we will be tuning in. Absolutely. Um, Watch time. Vampire Diaries, and also um, I have a Hallmark Channel movie coming this out. This is right. It's yes, called it um, Keeping Up with the Randalls, and it's um, on the Hallmark Channel July nineteenth. 
and it's really, really a funny movie. Like most Hallmark movies are kind of um, sad, and this one just is full of comedy, and it's going to be like a fun movie for the whole family. What's awesome. it? What's it about? Give us a little. It's tea. about okay. I play a fashion designer in LA, <gasps> Ooh, which fun. is really fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I fall in love with my boyfriend, and he's going to propose to me, but I have to meet the family of first. Course. Oh no. And they are the Randalls, <laughs> the Randall family, <laughs> and they're pretty um, outdoorsy and really athletic, and I. Am not so I'm trying to keep up with them the whole movie, and there's a lot of crazy things that happen. That is so funny. Yeah. Also, a lot of soap fans out there will be yeah. excited to know who your coach. Oh yeah, Sad Luckenbell from uh, The Young and the Restless, and he's also on Nikita now, and he's like super Ooh. sexy too. Another hot guy I get paid to kiss. And, you know, I don't know <laughs> what to say. Yeah, right. <laughs> Seriously, sometimes when you wake up in the morning, are you just like, what's going uh, on? I, you know, I have a boyfriend of my own who's pretty awesome, so I'm happy with him right now. <laughs> oh, <very good. laughs> so that just is another thing. It's great. Good all around. <laughs> Yay! Perfect. <laughs> well, thank you so thank you guys. much. Thank you guys. It was so fun. Yeah. yeah. Fun. We're so excited. That thank you're you. Back on the show, we think. We hope. Yeah. 100%. We'll see. <laughs> oh, I love the secret. <laughs> and all of you guys out there watching, make sure to stick with Clever TV around the clock because you know we are going to have all of your TV day news as a break. Yay. I'm Jocelyn Davis with Dana Ward. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>